snake in the toilet. Or I pull the darn key out of the, out of the toilet. <laughs> yeah, it's still clogged. I'm gonna have to pull the toilet, but what are you gonna do? Welcome back to Pimp for Maintenance. Here's what it looks like when you've got something down the toilet. It really sucks when this happens. You plunge it, you snake it, uh, but nothing other than a little trickle of water and a slow little flush with a little gurgling. Yep, it really sucks. Yep, no fun snaking a toilet and I pulled a darn key out of the, out of the toilet. <laughs> yeah, it's still clogged. I'm gonna have to pull the toilet, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> Doggone it. Then you want to remove the two bolts, one on either side, and then you'll be able to tilt the toilet forward. It's a good idea to vacuum out what's in the tank and left over in the bowl with a wet dry vacuum or use a sponge or something to pull the water out. Wet dry vacuum works much easier. Uh, you definitely want to wear gloves when messing with this stuff. I actually did it without gloves because um, yeah, I wasn't able to feel the uh, thing and I was concerned I was going to lose it in there and not be able to get it out so <laughs> yeah you can see the supply line up on the top right hand side there of the toilet not too much fun but this is what it was now anytime you pull a toilet you always want to use a new wax ring I didn't actually show the uh, pulling the toilet or the resetting the toilet. I figure I'll leave that for a, another video, but uh, on this one I just was showing you what was down there and getting it out. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, and once you get uh, your clog unclogged and everything's clear, you're ready to reset your toilet. Um, you'll use a new wax ring. It's a good idea to also replace the supply line at the same time. Uh, and you'll just alternate tightening right side, left side on the bolts until they're nice and snug. You know, there's a washer that goes down, uh, you know, slides through. I do have other videos uh, showing that a little bit better and uh, maybe I'll make something more in the future showing how to pull a toilet. But uh, anyway, <laughs> you just want to tighten until it's nice and snug, alternating each side so that the toilet sits nice and level and then you'll test it for any leaks, you'll flush it, test it for any leaks, and then uh, you can caulk the base as an option. Uh, you know, there's some advantages to not caulking the base and that you could see if something ever went wrong in the future, but most people caulk the base.